What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in this one we're going to be continuing on with the main story, uh, specifically Into the Fire, which is one of my favorite missions only because of the environment. My favorite mission in general, period, just my favorite mission is a mission later on in the, in the main story called uh, Belly of the Beast, I believe it's called. But this one is also up there. It's definitely one of my favorites, and I'm actually pretty excited to get on with this mission. If you are to do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video, because it really does help this channel grow with YouTube's algorithm. Also, on top of that, if you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to do that, because that is the only way that you will be able to see the content that uh, comes out here on my channel and all of that good stuff right there. So with that being said, that's enough yapping for me. Let's go ahead and head to this final exam site. All right, so let's go ahead and go into this direction. There's like stuff all over the place. Um, Did I ever fix my, I did fix my gun, didn't I? All right, cool. And I have plenty of ammo and everything. Oh, fun fact. The purveyor with his Wastelanders DLC actually moved to this location. The Rusty Pick. So we'll, we'll head in here just so that we can check it out really fast. I think it's a freaking... I think it's so much better, dude, that uh, the purveyor moved from the mire over here. It just makes more sense than, since this is where, you know, the mole miners pretty much live. So it's only fitting that the purveyor moved over here. But it, it looks so cool, dude. Look. There's a laser whip while well, everything's like spawning in all late. All right, but the purveyor is actually right here. I don't have any script though. Like none at all actually. So there's that. All right, but yeah, there's like all this stuff all over the place, dude. It's like this entire place is now the purveyor's location. Also, there is a place I believe in here where there's like a mole miner working or something. Oh look, there's a dead guy in here. All right, there's a workbench. Um, stash box right there, obviously. This is where you get your legendary currency. Oh, I think it's down here. Hold on. Um, let's go ahead and grab this, the gun, just in case. Actually, I haven't been down here, to be honest. Oh, look, it's a dead Assaultron. Ooh, fusion cells. Don't mind if I do. Do I even have the perks? I don't. I really need that perk card. Um, That helps with that, man. With uh, energy ammo. Um, I don't know. I could have sworn I saw a mole miner, another mole miner down here that's friendly. I guess I was wrong. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Shut up! <laughs> oh, it looks like we got a bunch of workbenches down here too. I don't know. I like it. I like this new design. I think it looks better. And... Again, I think it makes sense that Murmur, the AKA the Purveyor, is down here as well. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think about the Purveyor moving over here to the Ash Heap instead of um, instead of the Mire. Like I said, I think it just makes more sense being over here. But hey, what do I know? So I. I am also playing Fallout 4 uh, here on the channel, and I don't know which one is worse for load screens. If I had to guess, I, I think Fallout 4's load screens take significantly longer than Fallout 76's. But, oh well, it is what it is. It sucks, but what are you gonna do, right? By the way, I absolutely love this outfit, man. The Mountaineers. It's got like this tactical feel to it, man. This hat looks good with it, but I kind of want the blue beanie. Um, 
or even the Ushaka hat, I think would look decent with this, only because that scarf that uh, that's like around my neck right here, I think it would look decent on it. Or even a gray knit cap or whatever. I don't know. I gotta find them first before I can actually see how it looks, but we'll 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 cross that hurdle once we get there. Hey, what's up, Birdie? Fire breather. Applicant detected. Kit ticket issued. Please collect your gear. Don't tell me what to do. But yes. Examination briefing. Hollow tape issued. Okay, so I'm going to actually put on the helmet just so that I don't get anything while I'm in there. Let's see how Please it looks. proceed to examination target. <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, this doesn't look too bad. All right, well, let's listen to this hollow tape. Um, hollow. All oh, right, here. Breathing. Welcome, recruit, to your final exam. I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell and all the scorch that call it home. And I get this is extreme, but we need to know if you can hack it before you got half a dozen other people counting on you. But you're not going in empty-handed. Along with your suit, you've been issued a modified 10 millimeter. We figured out the scorch aren't big fans at depleted ultrasight. Took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit. All right, sounds easy enough, I guess. Belching Betty, baby. You know, I imagine the uh, normal gas mask looking pretty good because it is gray. Normally, I think that freaking gas mask is pretty freaking ugly, but I don't know. I'll kind of, I should probably try it or at least use it to see what it sounds like or looks like. I know there's um a mask that you're supposed to be able to use with this, but it doesn't. For some reason, it's like deactivated or something. I'm not sure. All right, we'll open the door. All right, uh, wait, wait, wait. Warning, do not enter. This uh, facility has been sealed permanently. Hostile specimens contained. They won't be contained much longer. Because I'm going to destroy them. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, yep. Maybe is definitely right. So if I don't freaking burn myself to death in the process. Aw, oh, look, he's cute. And die! That guy's dead. Oh, come back here. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Die! Goodbye. Um, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, let's listen to this. Is it on? Yeah, the red light is on, so it's recording. <clears throat> this is Maxine Ballard, squad leader of the Scorch Slayers. We're making this recording to document our descent into the Belching Betty mine for the final exam. Well, say which exam? Oh, right. For the Fire Breathers final exam. We're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for Scorched. Piece of cake. I don't know. If it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting Scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Grow a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. All right, all right, shut up. Okay, Scorch Slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done. Well, they definitely don't sound like they uh, knew they were going to die. Wait, there's... Yep, I thought I saw that. Economy glued. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that rhymes. 
All right. Um. Doesn't look like there's much of anything around here. Just a bunch of dead bodies. Like this guy. Let's listen to this. <sighs> okay, squad leader. Tim and Andrew are both dead. Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Shut up, Sai. She's recording. Entry two. We've lost Timothy Wolf and Andrew Rhodes to a swarm of scorched. And the rest of us barely made it past them alive. I'm beginning to think Melody Larkin may have underestimated the difficulty. Same. Oh, you're damn right she did. This is suicide. What the hell with this? I'm going back. No, you're not. You're sticking with us. Why? So we can get picked off one by one until we're all dead? No way, oh, no. not me. You know what, Sai? You've been acting like a coward ever since we started tackling the Scorch at the farms. And now, Tim and Andrew are dead because of you. What the hell are you talking about? I saw him, Max. When those Scorched pushed through the tunnels, they came at us from all sides. Tim and Andrew were holding and they told Sai to watch the back, but he did it. He ran away and left their rear flank wide open. That's what took them down. Bullshit! She's lying, Max! I'll both of you knock it off! Sylvester, if you want to go, go, but you're going back alone, and I guarantee we didn't clear everything behind us. But even if you make it, mark my words, you'll never be part of this squad again. <sighs> Fine. To hell with both of you. I'm out of here! You're seriously letting him go? Yeah, Rita. We're better off without him. <clears throat> Damn. And at the end of the day, they all died. The Fall 76 story is seriously kind of sad. In many different ways. This helmet really doesn't look too bad with this outfit. I like this outfit a lot, man. Let's see if we can snipe this guy. Oh, man, he moved. Come on, baby. Where's he at? I want a laser rifle with a bunch of, uh, like, bats and stuff. No! Oh no, what happened? That was close. Oh god. Where is he? He's right there. Do I have any grenades? No. Oh, come on. Screw you, buddy. Um. Alrighty. <laughs> do I have lockpick to be able to do this? What I really need is some freaking stim packs, dude. I'm down to my last one. Not sure I want to use it. Oh god. Let's get out of the way. Um We got our vats back. So that one was a king. Or crowned, I mean. Let's go ahead and uh Okay, that guy died. Good. Come on, baby. Oh, hello. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reload. I'm nervous, dude, because it looks like we have a... We have our hands full over here. Alright, we'll leave it like that for now. And make sure that guy's dead. Oh god, he's coming. Maybe that's enough to kill him. Hurts. Us. It's not. That is. <laughs> I'll take the high powered magnet. Where are they? Oh god, I hear him. Right there. Hello. Oh god. Let's eat some food. 
Oh no! He's dead. We gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and hide right here for now. And eat a bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, Alright, there. That should that should be enough. Did he die? He did. And that was the last guy, it looks like, too. So let's go ahead and loot him. Well, not loot him, but... Because I'm not trying to have a bunch of ammo that I don't need. I just kind of want a bunch of fusion cells. Alright, let's come over here. I think one of these have a... Uh, one of these guys have a super stim pack. There it is. Alright, let's listen to this. <coughs> Entry 3. Sylvester left the team some time ago. We heard his screams echoing through the mines only minutes after he left. <coughs> Rita and I are all that's left. Despite the odds, we've somehow made it to the beacon. We've done it. What's supposed to happen when we activate that beacon? I don't know. I suppose we'll get Melody Larkin's next instruction about how to get out of here. Well, there's no reason for us to stand here and wait. Push the damn thing. <coughs> That's it? Or... Oh my god. They're everywhere! I... I don't know if we're gonna make it. But we didn't come this far just to give up. I'm with you, Max. If we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know... It's been a real honor, Rita. Likewise. Now let's go show those scores what it means to be a fire breather. Damn, that's heartbreaking. This is them. This is Rita. And this is Maxine. They literally made their final stand. Alright, you're gonna let me push the button or what? There we go. Applicant task successful. Return to surface for examination completion. Don't worry. Will do. Alright, so there's definitely a bunch of scorched around. That guy's done. You! You're dead. Oh god. Shoot! Haha. Uh -huh. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked on these guys. Here, let me change my camera angle. Oh god, my weapon's already almost done. Oh god. Alright, we made it. It's gonna be really hard to maintain this weapon, isn't it? Maybe I should... Maybe I should put my camp on a crystal location. I feel like... Hold on, where's the... Uh, oh god, it's about to die. Alright, we'll go with this for now, I suppose. And then, uh, we'll probably end up finding a location near a crystal place. And maybe we'll make the next video for Fallout 76 a camp building location. Uh, camp building. Oh shit. Oh no. Don't let this be it! Oh god. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna have to take my last stim pack. Alright, come on, babe. Alright, let's go ahead and reload. Oh, God, come on. Will we die here? 
Uh, no. <laughs> nice. But this is getting hard, man. Crystal is definitely a hard thing to get, in my opinion. So, I really do feel like we need to build a base around Crystal. So, that's definitely that definitely has to be my priority, man. Because if it's not... Like, everything else, even some of the other stuff, is... It can be difficult to find, but I feel even with everything else being difficult to find, Crystal's gonna be my ongoing problem. So, I definitely... Should... Put my camp, since this guy's gonna be a laser build, on a crystal spot. So I'm always getting a constant, you know, flow of, of, uh, of crystal so I can continue to maintain my weapon. Honestly, I have no idea why I put this gun back on. There we go. Oh no, I'm on fire. Run! Man, I really like this outfit, man. Holy shit, dude. The Mountaineer Scout, I believe it's called. Right? Yep. Mountaineer Scout out uh, uniform. It's honestly badass. But I guess there's a bug with it where it doesn't allow you to show the backpack. Because um, I think I am wearing a backpack right now, but it doesn't show at all. And it's kind of frustrating, but... I, I kind of I kind of wish there was like a toggle backpack, uh, kind of like some games I think, including Fallout seventy six or whatever, or maybe not Fallout seventy six. I don't know, but like some games have like this toggle helmet where like the the helmet visibility, like even if you're wearing it, it'll go away basically if you toggle it on. Uh, I wish there was something like that for backpacks, dude, because I. I do want a backpack, but I do like the look of this without a backpack too. But who knows? Maybe I like it once the All backpack shows. Examinations complete. Congratulations. Issuing orientation hollow tape. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department for company registration. Why? Thank you. Do you give me any current fire breather graduation rate one point eight? Uh, I guess not. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, we have a hollow tape, right? Uh, register... Okay, we have to go... Register fire to pre, uh, fire breather computer system. Is that back at the fire department? It is. Alright, so we can definitely just run there. It's not that far. But, uh... While we're there, I'm gonna check with, uh... That one vendor bot that's inside the Charleston Fire Department. Hopefully, there's, um, he's selling crystal, dude, because I definitely need crystal. Also, since I'm heavily invested in making a laser weapon character, or like a laser rifle character, um, I need to really know all the items that have crystal as well, you know? Right, we're here. Graduate detected. Registration is required. Please no shit. present yourself to graduate registration. detected. Registration um, is required. I think I think that's the room we're supposed to go, but let's go ahead and check with this guy first. Vendor bot Mac. Registration. He's got an army hat. Um He's got adhesive. I don't think I need adhesive. This has crystal. All right, broken camera. Crap, it's expensive, but I'll take it. Both plastic. Um. I don't think I need any of this stuff. I definitely don't care about the plans, in all honesty. I should get some of the stim packs, but this is expensive. 92 caps for a stim pack? I'm good, bruh. So this has plastic. I don't need the plastic right now. I need crystal. So how much crystal did this give me? 
junk. Uh, what was a broken camera? This has one crystal. And I think I need two crystal to be able to fix my rifle. Who knows, maybe I already have crystal back at the camp. So, fire breather's master terminal. Register new fire breather. Alright. Um, message archive? Muster point the rusty pick. Alright. Uh, Alright, ladies and gents. Word has come down from... Uh, from on high we've got exactly no more time to wait for Madigan to show oh that's right because he went missing uh, so we're going to have to do this without him we move on uh, Big Band tomorrow muster point is the rusty pick uh, you're you're to bring in gear and ready to move by 0700 uh, sleep well tonight because tomorrow we're s saving Appalachia melody Range temporarily closed. Heads up, gang. Firing, uh, firing range is closed until further notice. Until the explosives for the tunnel job are on site. I'll send out a message once it's cleared for us again. Until then, you're going to have to find healthier way to express your anger. Melody. Alright, stop the stopping the scorched. Uh, meeting at 1800 tomorrow in the exam room. Uh, no exceptions. We've got a plan to deal with the scorch. Uh, you want to save Appalachia, you make sure your uh, your cheeks are in the seat by 06 p.m. Or uh, 6 p.m. Excavator armor. Alright, check in from Madigan's latest uh, field trip. Uh, yield... Yielded a tip on some new gear. Rumor is that the Garahand excavator armor, while maybe not uh, the mining method of the future, was actually a seriously rugged hunk of machinery. Smoke, fire, gas resistant, and apparently the Garahands kept all the tech to make them in their very own basement. Any fire breathers that find themselves in the vicinity of Bramwell should uh, pop into the old Garahand HQ, see if they can find any old suits laying around. Melody. Scouts for AMS HQ. Uh, we've got a good lead on some tech that should uh, make blowing hole holes in the scorched easier. We were looking for volunteers to go collect. The crew will be cutting a route across the mountains to get there since Big Ben's still in the hands of the freaks. The heading into the heart of Watoga with then oh then heading into the heart of Watoga which has apparently gone haywire without proper adult supervision. For this reason, any volunteers will be outfitted with only the finest in firepower. All interested uh, please speak to Lieutenant Madigan. Yeah, about that. He's kind of sort of MIA at the moment. Big band off limits. Huh. I wonder what happened to their mission. As many of you heard by now, we've traced the influx of Scorch to a single source, Big Ben Tunnel. Initial reports suggest that parties we've run across so far are only the beginning. Now we're not going to sit on our thumbs while these things uh, make their way into the heap but we're not about to waste lives by rushing in without a plan so until further notice all patrols and scouting parties should steer clear of Big Ben tunnel and the surrounding area and no one leaves the station without a firearm melody well that's uh interesting schematic archive uh, Scorched Mod, Standard Issue. Uh, crafting Item Unlock, Scorch Killer Receiver. Alright. Wait, what is that for? 10mm, 10mm SMG, and Assault Rifle. Anti-Mod Support. Denied. Contact Sergeant Alamani. Alright. Shotguns. Sergeant... Kaminsky. Big wait, that guy was at the Big Ben Tunnel. This guy's also at the Big Ben Tunnel. 
Rifles. Uh, Big Man Tunnel. Sergeant Holston for access. Alright, so if I want the rest for for support, shotguns, and rifles, I have to go to the Big Ben Tunnel. So, that's interesting. Kind of sucks for them. Alright, what do we do over here? Let's go ahead and push this button. There are 800,000 outstanding support calls. There is one priority call. Accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there. It's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something. Something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me where I got it. I just need you to send backup up here quick. The best guns you can spare. Call me back at this frequency as soon as you can. Madigan out. I wonder what he, uh... What he found. Achievement unlocked. Into the fire. Very nice. What rewards do we get? Heavy metal right arm? Eh, I don't really want that. But let's go ahead and take off this fire breather helmet. Because I definitely don't want that. Oh, uh, there's... Oh, right here. All questions should be directed to Fire Breather. Captain. Scrap Melody items. Larkin. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, get rid of this. We'll get rid of the. We'll definitely get rid of this. Alright, we'll come over here and. Where's that heavy leather? Or heavy metal, right? There we go. Alright, let's destroy that. We definitely don't need that anymore. Put on our glasses. Oh, no way. What the fuck? I almost destroyed that shit. Alright, let's put on our glasses. And our campaign hat. So at least we look presentable. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, that's the horn right. Um, let's see what else we got on our mission list. Explore horn right HQ. Tentative plans. Listen. Well, let's listen to this hollow tape really quick. Uh, volunteer training camping 101. Volunteer training 101. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. Robot Programmer Extraordinaire. Fire Part 1. Detected. Finding the perfect stay camping location. Frosty. Now that the world has changed, it's hard to stay safe. Used to be that camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or uh, build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often and rest a lot. Before the war, I was going to retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true. You know, do what you love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing techniques. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. Alright, so I think that's all the way back at the uh, airport again. Um, yeah, it's at the airport. So let's go back to our little camp. There's literally nothing at my camp. Just a couple of things, obviously, but nothing major um, at my camp. But, hey, it is what it is. And the good thing is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was able to uh, fix up my rifle... But again, I still think we need to find like a an extractor where I can like place a camp 
for crystal, man, because that's definitely gonna come in handy, man, long run. Off camera, I'm gonna have to do a quick Google search and find out where exactly is a crystal mine. Uh, where the hell is my camp? Oh, it's up here. I was confused for a second, like, where the hell is it? What is this anyways? Acid, right? Yeah, I don't really need acid. And it's not even powered or anything. <laughs> like, I literally have nothing here. Alright, what else can I build anyways? Can I build... Uh, I need all my crafting stuff first, I think. So I need armor workbench. I need aluminum and a shitload of it. Aluminum and oil. I mean, I could build this. Yeah, let's go ahead and build this. Uh, I need glass. Oh, I don't need glass. What the hell am I talking about? All right. So let's go. Tentative plans. All right. Let's fast travel to the Morgantown station. That way we hopefully avoid any unwanted attention from Scorched. Do I have a level? I don't know. I need to check if I have a level up. Let's see here. Um, I do. Alright, let's go one by one. Alright, nothing here. Um, Rifleman affects it, right? I think Rifleman affects it, uh, but let's, let's hold off on that for just a quick, 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 quick second. Um, batteries included, please. No. Any interesting, this, uh, no. What about luck? Scrounger Max owned. That's good. I should. Serendipity really did come in handy, though, to be honest. I might do that soon. But first, I think Rifleman affects laser rifle. So we're definitely going with Rifleman. Alright, let's, let's see. Hold on. So right now, my weapon does uh, a, an impressive, just kidding, 18 damage. And now, it still does 18 damage. Oh no. Did I? I did. What the hell? Did I just waste a perk card? Or is there maybe something else that it affects? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh, right now, this does 50 damage for my pipe, pipe bolt action pistol or rifle. 50 damage. Um. And now it does 45, so I know it's working. But not on the laser rifle. That's interesting. There might actually be... Why do I have this here? I don't want that. I don't even use pistol. Um... Uh, okay, that's maxed. I need... I probably should have put another point into luck. Uh, oh, well. I feel like uh, we wasted that. But it is what it is. Alright, which, which direction is it? Oh, no, my game froze. Alright, there we go. It's this way. So, it is what it is. I need to do some research and find out what perk cards I'm going to need for this. Because apparently, Rifleman doesn't... Oh, wait. It's not Rifleman. It's fucking Commando, isn't it? Oh, no. I messed that up. 
That's why it didn't work, man. I need commando, not rifleman. Wonk, wonk, wonk. And I don't even think I looked to see if that was a perk card that's available. I saw rifleman and kind of locked in on it. It is what it is. If your camp doesn't have all the necessities, consider using irradiated garbage to add that special touch. Um, if you say so. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer right, bots this once had he idiotic stopping. names. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program holotape. Find them and return here. Miguel, I told you, don't make that chili nearby. It smells too good. I could detect it from Would the airfield. <laughs> Why? Didn't you listen? All right. Camping syllabus. One, find a safe spot. Be sure to look for a fresh animal or human. Um, okay. Uh, droppings nearby. Remember, if you find doo-doo, better shoo-shoo. <laughs> so stupid. All right, two. Use recycled materials to construct it, uh, your tent. Uh, you can find scrap hey, just about anywhere. Miguel, Three. Did you why hear something? A of camp course not. Cooking stations because in your own stash. You're Assignment dead. students should check in with any local responder, uh, and build a camp. In the camp, volunteers should construct a simple cooking station and a stash box, and demonstrate that knowledge to the local responder. I'll be taking that right after. But now he also wants us to check the terminal right over here. Luckily, it's literally just right here, so we don't have to travel very far for this. I should drink a bottle of water. All right, any troubles here? Doesn't appear so. I don't really want to do this mission, though. Or this event, I should say, so I'm just gonna skip it. Read, sweet bean. Oh, my sweet, uh, Gary Bean. I'll be up at my camp. Maria is giving me a sanity day so I can relax. Join me. I hope you brought some of that comfort food from Flatwoods. We can, uh, have a picnic. Don't worry. I... Oh, if any volunteers stop by to learn stuff, the robot should be able to take care of them. I wrote the whole program to deal with that so I can actually relax and enjoy the great outdoors with you. Uh, love you, dear heart, Miguel. All right, let's listen to this. Oh, it's... oh God. All right, maybe we could do this before anybody sees us. Oh no. They're definitely here. Oh no, I don't want you guys here. Alright, let's go ahead and switch camera views. Come on, baby. Did the robot just help me? Multiple hostile. Targets Hell yeah. detected. Requesting right. back, back, back up. I'm going to have to just literally click through this. Schematics. All right. I don't know what the hell Commencing I unlocked, but it's okay. On hostile target. All right. Well, I did this. So let's get the hell out of here, dude. Fuck this event. I don't want to do this right now. Run! Give holotape to Miguel's Protectron. Mm, all right, in route. I think we're about to get uh, infiltrated too, to be honest. Let's go. 
Yes, we're exiting, and I don't care. Right now, I'm more interested in completing this quest. Being tethered to your corpse is really rotten, Miguel. I keep hoping that a wolf will stop by and grab your bones, but no such luck. Sigh. Demonstrate your camp expertise and build a generator to power electric devices such as lights. Remember to connect the devices with a wire. It's just so odd to see humans again. Well, the non-rotten kind anyway. Did he always say that? The uh, non-rotten kind? I'm not sure it might be uh, an update let's go ahead and go back to my camp so that i can build that generator and complete this mission it's a really simple one this is like the intro to hey build your camp you know what i mean oh look we're uh we're are we level nine is that what we are all right so we are at my camp i really hate that I can't, I can never find my camp when I land here. I don't know why. All right, so let's go here. We gotta build a generators. Um, here I'll just build a simple one. Screw it. There we go. Let's see what we get for a reward. Leather chest piece. Oh, it's a legendary actually. Actually, I think it's a unique. Yep, silver lining. Plus one endurance. That can definitely come in handy. Let's go ahead and equip it, actually. Um. Do I not have armor equipped? Let's put on that leather arm. Chameleon leather right leg. Okay. That's it. That's all the armor I have. No wonder I was getting my ass beat, dude. I don't really have armor equipped. But all right, guys. We're definitely going to call it a video uh, right here, right now. We're getting really close to that one hour, hour mark. But in the next video, we are actually going to potentially move our camp and find a crystal extractor. I'm going to do some off-camera exploring uh, between this video and the next one. And hopefully we find a nice spot we can move our camp to. Or maybe I'll actually move the spot there and then in the next video we'll do a, just a quick little build. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting to build anything spectacular. Especially because I don't have enough junk to do any of that. So we'll see. We'll cross that hurdle once we get there. But for now we're going to call it a video on this specific video. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.